Hello, and welcome back here to Oblivion, my playthrough. Now, I had a change of heart in the last episode. I, I thought, hey, why not just go around to all the shrines and lock them all, and then get all the missions lined up and ready, but like, I've decided, you know what, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm actually going to do the actual quest of Azura. As it says at the bottom there of the quest that you must be level two to begin this, which we are. So let's let's do that. I activate the quest and it doesn't actually do what I want it to do. Uh, oh, it's just bad this way. So I'll just go back this way. Yes, as always, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy uh, these playthroughs of mine or any particular one. I do play a lot of uh, games on my channel, as you can tell, I'm sure. I do have a section on my homepage that basically goes through all the years of gaming that I... I the, the years that I care about, I don't really... This is going to be sacrilege. I don't really care when it goes <sighs> later, well, like, earlier than um, 1985, really. Not really, not really into like say the ET game from 1982 <laughs> for Atari. There's Azura. <clears throat> still got my cough, so it's still gonna be here and there, but hopefully it's not too bad. Now this dude basically said, give her an offering of troll fat at like midnight or something like that so I can't wait here when enemies nearby what enemies are nearby I can wait here though all right I'm gonna wait till midnight no he said dusk or dawn didn't he what does the in fact before that let's just Repair my stuff. What's the quest say? The statue should be approached at dawn or dusk. Right, when's dawn? I'm going to say 4 a.m. Five. Surely it can't be six. Six AM. I'm doing it now. Do you wish to offer glow dust to the altar of Azora? Yes, I do. I have seen your name, traveler, and heard it whispered in twilight. I ask a service. Chose promise of fame and reward. Many years ago, five followers slew the vampire Dratic and its kin, but all are infected by the foul creature. Knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their suffering weighs heavily on me. Travel to the gutted mine. The door will open to you. Bring the peace of death to my followers, and you shall earn my gratitude. <clears throat> right. Give the peace of death to vampires. This is how I get vampirism, everybody. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is how it happens. I'm going to get vampirism very badly. Uh, should I cheat it? Yeah, I'll cheat it. I'll just go to Shaden Hall, sell off some of my stuff that I got. Um, <clears throat> but I will just make my own way back by hopping and uh, healing, you know? Because that's still a thing that I'm doing for some reason. To level myself up, and I enjoy leveling up. Go ahead. Uh, can I make see. you smile? Alright, she's okay with these two. She doesn't like those. <laughs> That's enough. Nah, it's <laughs> never enough. I'm not buying that one. I, that, don't, I doubt you really. Don't, that, I like that it. works for me. 
How about we ask you about a few rumours? I can't believe the ridiculous new fines the guards are imposing. Ever since Ulrich took over as captain of the guard, this place is going downhill. The fines? Ever since Ulrich Leyland took over the captain of the guard post, this city's gone downhill. It's getting almost scary to walk the streets. The guards have imposed new, ridiculously heavy fines for every infraction under the sun. They almost seem to make up laws just for charging fines. If you can't pay the fine, they can take your property away or toss you in the castle dungeons. Nothing we can do about it, really. If you're interested, go talk to Levana Nadarin. She seems the most outspoken against Ulrich and his new fines. Well, that sounds like a quest, and it is a quest. How about just Shaden Hall in general? Did you know we have the finest horses in Cyrodiil? Right here in town? Black Waterside Stables. The best thoroughbred blacks. I won't put it like that. Damn. Have a look at um, my words. Anyways, Dwarf and Arrows. Uh, dwarf and... Oh, ooh. You know what? Do I have a Dwarf and Bow? I do have a Dwarf and Bow. It's okay. <coughs> Sell that off. That's a fair deal. An excellent bargain. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to go between the tabs, like one section at a time. <coughs> I think I'll be using those silver arrows against ghosts, and then the sword, because I, I need a silver sword. Until I get a daedric weapon, then like ghosts are no problem. Because I don't want to be using my... I, I do have like a fireball spell, but I don't want to be using that. I think I have a wolf pal. I th think I left it at the at my house. It's been That's a while more since... Than it's been kind of a while since I last played this. Um, I just need a dwarven chest piece, don't I? Really? I need a good like claymore because I've decided to go Thank against my patronage. original impulse of like trying out Goodbye. shields and going back to my OG roots of uh, OG roots my my original tactics of uh, the I, I just love like the double handed claymores in Skyrim and Oblivion it's just my go to weapon I just love like a big long sword you know not one handed two handed long sword <coughs> okay, there's that cough again. It's never gonna go. I just know it's never gonna go. It's gonna stay with me forever. Level 11 orc. That's n nearly leveled up, actually. Um, what have we got? Hmm, what have we got going on? Blades at 50. I'm getting my blunt to 50 as well. Then my marksman. Yes. How about my acrobatics? Athletics is gonna probably take the longest to level up. Acrobatics, I'm trying to get through it as fast as possible to jump in. I just am, trust me. Might as well just put this on the map. Knights of Fawn Lodge. <coughs> I can feel it in my throat. <coughs> <coughs> right, there's a blooming gate over there. Good to know. It's a bear. <coughs> That's a big bear. Oh, damn you. Yeah. Big bears are still pretty dangerous at this point in the game. I'm not even bothering, bothering uh, like, blocking this guy because he's just going to uh, destroy uh, me. Uh, there we go. Whew. Yeah, vampires. I'm not looking forward to it. Again, um, I'm betting I'm going to get vampirism from this. What a joke. It's going to be interesting if I don't get it. 
at one point in this playthrough because I, I believe everybody gets vampirism at one point in this game. And you might think, there's even a character in the Dark Brotherhood who, who like, offers it to you. Like, do you want to become a vampire? And trust me, it's not what it's cracked out to be. I think you become very good at night time, but you soon find out that most people don't do stuff at night time. Oh, he hit me twice. I do love this game. Oh. Um. Need to watch out about that. I can do better restoration spells, but I don't know if that's going to cost more. If I'm honest, I've not actually researched. You know, out of all my times playing Oblivion, I've not actually researched how to do spells or alchemy or anything like that. I usually always go to like a fighter build straight, straight away. It's my own damn fault. I'm just going to follow this path for a bit. Why not? There's an imp. Us. Yeah, yeah, they're imps. They're not scamps. Nice. Athletics increase, not ac um, acrobatics. I need the acrobatics to increase. Where am I on the map? Right, okay. I'll just keep on going this way, question mark. <clears throat> I think what sets my cough off as well is the amount of time. I, I should really be just resting my throat. But because I'm doing this YouTube channel, I keep talking. And that's what sets it off and makes it worse. But... Again, that was one of the biggest debates that I had with myself about like starting this YouTube channel. Like, should I talk? Or should I just do what everyone else does? Well, I mean, there's plenty of YouTube channels that have commentary over their, their gameplay and stuff like that in the Let's Play channels. But like, for me, I was just like thinking about it. And there's a few, I'm not going to name them, but there was a few big like YouTube channels that just do standard, standard playthroughs that uh, no commentary and they get like a hell of a lot of views and like good for them but for me I was just like ah I need to make it my own somehow how do I do that I decided against the face cam stuff and I decided I'm just gonna have a bit of a commentary this is too steep for me to climb I'm gonna have to find another way around good thing is though I've actually managed to get my health all the way back to full from my restoration. Oh, I'm, gonna go to the, I'm gonna have to go to the Oblivion Gate to go around. Hopefully the Daedra have not respawned. I don't think they will have respawned. But who knows? <coughs> Anything's possible. They have respawned. I just heard. Great. Where is it? There it is. Right, runt. Oh, you missed me. <coughs> Hit me again, then. Hit me. I need to get my block up as well. Alright, I see you're a bit tough. I need to learn armor. Armor, heavy armor. Blunt. All right, I've just got to wail. Ah! 
Heavy armor's doing a bit. <clears throat> Okay, I, I will eventually get there, trust me. It's gonna happen. Eventually. Just have to see if I got the, well, the, the wolf pelt in the other bit. Hi there. What's going on with you? I saw some mud crabs. Mud crabs? Oh, how dangerous. There's a wolf pelt, right. So this is all my stuff that is for the Daedra Shrines so far. Greater Soul Gem? Probably not. I think I need a lesser Soul Gem. I need the booze to knock me unconscious. <laughs> right, there we go. Ooh. Speed. I'm not that fast. <laughs> I need the fatigue and the strength. I'm trying to be like a giant tank, you know? Right, let's... It's not this jump all the way there, just a... thingy -ma jig. Right. Oh, what do I have on me? I have a bear pal. Uh, you get nice materials from going in there, but I think I've already mentioned that, but um, I'm not going in. <laughs> I already have a Daedra heart to like sell. Right, so there's a secret cave around here somewhere. Which is right there. Cool. It has auto-saved, but all the same. Is that a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my save. This is my save that I need to save her. I don't want to save over the wrong save, just in case there's like... You know, um... A problem with the recordings, and then it's like, whoops. What was that? That was a guy who's coming straight at you. Oh, snap. Alright, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Come on, vampire. One on one. Me and you. I have constant. I have contracted something. But I don't think it's vampirism. I hope it's not. Wow. I've been silenced. I can't actually uh, heal until. <sighs> the physics. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you silence me. I'm gonna silence you. Never take me down. Watch me. Oh, actually. Let's get this over with. Oh, hold on there. Let me heal up a bit. This is how you break the game a little bit. You just do that, and then they kind of like go, "Where did he go?" Until we find a way to like pathfind to you. <clears throat> One might say cheating, yes. You'd be correct. Where's this vampire? Oh, I can see the vampire, like, the, the, just the green uh, blip on the thing. Right, I'm gonna try and take her on. Oh, damn! Silver Longsword. 
Mithril mail. Gauntlets. Yes. Vampire dust, which I'm going to keep because I don't know if vampire dust is very important for later. nearby. Good. How can I see what, what I've contracted? Uh, five fame. Great. Um, diseases contracted two. Contracted two diseases. I've not been days as a vampire. I'm not a vampire. So there, it's even in the, the like the text that's there. Next button and like days as a vampire. I'll just go to one of the Holy Akatosh places anyways and just like heal up because that is pretty damaged. I don't know where to see the diseases that I have. But it says I have two, so... Uh... Oh. <coughs> Let's not do that. Let's touch it up. Save again. <coughs> Cough again because I have to. That's just one vampire as well, by the way. <laughs> There's, what, like, four more of them? I'm not being very... S There's four more of them. I'm not particularly sneaky either. Bones? This is going swell. It's going swell. <laughs> Two of them. I didn't particularly want two of them. Oh, it's a bloody danger fighting as well. Well. This is not good. <laughs> Where did the bloody danger come from? <coughs> this is... <laughs> right, this fight isn't happening, so I'm going to just... <laughs> Slow that progress. Just so that I can uh, go outside to take care of that Daedra. Because I'm telling you, that's a no-go. <laughs> I'm not fighting a Daedra and two vampires. Potentially two vampires at the same. Just wail on the Daedra. <clears throat> You know what it is? It's because I'm not prepared for it. I am well not prepared for this fight. The vampires. Vampires are like the some of the hardest enemies in the entire game. And I'm idiot idiotically trying to like get the two on two. Well, I'm trying to get them one on one, but I got two on two in that last fight. <sighs> right. Let's wait for my stamina to regen up a little bit, and then, um... Hopefully there's no more Daedra outside. That decide to, um, surprise me. <coughs> I'm just waiting for my Magicka to regen a little bit here, so I can get some more health. Get to full health before I start this, uh, battle. Because, uh, if I get, if I get one of them, that's alright. If I get two of them, that's... That's pretty bad if I get two. No, I don't think I could take on two of them, if I'm honest. Right, how's my health? Health's at full. 
Stamina's... I think stamina's gonna constantly drain, actually. Because of this disease that I have. I know it's also sa <coughs> auto saved, but I'm gonna save again. I think it's one. It's not one, it's two of them. Great. Come here! <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get that one first. Yes, this is a tactic. Just cheat the game. Why not, you know? one of them. Not enough magic up. Whoa. Right, I got one of them. She's alright. I'm just checking out where that green arrow goes. Because I don't want her to come over the ridge and then st start that way on me. She has a, a bloody good axe as well. Like a glass weapon axe. I don't want it to go too far away. Neither. I want it to stay relatively close by to me. She has orcish armor as well, right? So that's better than like the dwarven armor that I was going to go for. Because I, I totally forgot about orcish armor. Orcish is the one before. Daedric. No, before Embion, and then after Embion it is uh, Daedric. So the the heavy armors that are at the top. Oh, that hit me. Orkish, Embion, and then Daedric. Yeah. Ah. Right. Okay. Let's get this over. Okay, that doesn't do too much. I've got my rage ability, <laughs> rage ability that I'm gonna probably have to use. After I choose the game, which I'm doing right here. <sighs> She's fine. She's not gonna hit me. Oh, should I even bother in hand to hand? You know what? Let's try. Doing this instead. <coughs> die, Carl. No, you die, Grandpa. Jeez. 
She's very tough. Go! Die! Die! Car! No! But again, vampires are like the toughest enemies in the game, pretty much. Considering like actually doing an axe fight then, but nah. You know what? Let's tr let's do it. Blood. I need your blood. Do you? I need your vampire ash. I need the axe. That's what I need. Damn. Take your orcish stuff. Oh, I can sell them for a high price. And you? It's exactly 400. <sighs> uh. Here, have these. In fact, before I do that, let's just see if I can just break a hammer down. There we go. And I'm at 400. Well, 399 weight, so might as well just uh, sell off some of my stuff. Some of my stuff, like. How much? So, Dwarven Greaves, free. Right, yes, of course. Yes, I'm looking more orcish already. I'm from Auckland. Oh. Yes. <coughs> yes, indeed. I'm on that glass battle axe, for sure. Right. Feeling a bit ready, uh, a, a bit better about this encounter already. Where to sell the general clothes, though? And there? Possibly. It's my... May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Mmm... No. You drive a hard bargain. Do I? You got a good... Good day. Not that. I always get confused about where the entrance is to this place. I've got some very fine clothes to sell to you. Warbug. All right. I've already made a smile. I offer the finest goods and the lowest prices. Hey. In all <coughs> you have weapons as well. <coughs> all right. Okay. You've made a good bit of gold. Gonna keep the vampire dust for now. Might need it for something. A good price for that's more. That's a fair deal. Sure. Come. See my stuff. Stuff is okay. It's okay, like. Be seeing ya. Fast travel back. Don't think there might. I don't think there's gonna be any other Daedric surprises waiting for me. But that could always change. A 
Better not do that. It's safer just to kill them. And again, one at a time, preferably, but that's not going to happen, is it? I'm going to fight two of them at once. I don't like this. Nothing in there. Taking the things from there. <laughs> I'm going to be saving up to save 1000. Don't you worry about it. Eventually, you're going to have to go, what was that noise? Eventually. But I'm kind of scared about... Yeah, you better. These were Azura's followers. Who's there? No one. Well, 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 That's two of them. That's two. I'm just going to go outside. <sighs> uh oh, are they trapped? I don't know. Maybe I have to pull that lever over there to release them? Possibly. Bones. Yeah. One's a necromancer. That's also saved, so... Uh... Yeah, I thought that was going to hit me. Damn it. <laughs> Why did I do that straight away? I'm trying to get rid of the necromancer first. Clearly, that's impossible. What have I got? What have I got? What have I got? Ah, damn it. I love it, the fact that I'm doing the same tactic. Is it two of them or one of them? It's one of them.
got hit. Right. So <laughs> touch that because before. No shame. They are vampires, so this is uh, completely acceptable for what I'm doing. I worry is I'm gonna run out of arrows pretty fast. I'm sure this guy's mace is enchanted, so that's what's like completely demolishing my health. Yes, this is an exploit that I found in the game world. So I guess it's part of the Oblivion charm. You know what? This might not actually kill him. He's gone through all of his enchantments. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> he's gone through every single weapon he has in his enchanting abilities. I kill the orc first because of that hammer. There we go. I think the same tactic for this guy. Oh, lady. That's an elven, an elven mace as well. <sighs> I've killed the vampires and the ghost of mine. I should return to the shrine. Yes, I should. Wow. Now. Oh, I didn't want that. I wanted that. <laughs> uh. Dagger of Weariness and Hammer of Flames. Warhammer of Flames. I might use the Warhammer a bit, actually. Hmm. I always say this, I never end up really using it. Oh, look at this. <coughs> well, they do yield rewards, the vampires, I suppose. So you gotta give them that. That's gonna push me over the edge. One faded note. Hmm. Let's head on back. Not to the castle. To here. Quite a quest. Um,
I mean, it does 11 damage, so might as well use that for a bit. Steel arrows. How's the elven bow? Elven bow is better. <coughs> it would seem. Okay, to eight, which is practically nine. I hope. Can I interest you in some of my wares? I hope to. An excellent bargain. Right. Thanks. Goodbye. I need to go to the temple and pray. Marksman's almost leveled up. Block is getting there. Blade and Blunt are getting there. But I wasn't blocking against those guys because, jeez, they were tough. Okay, uh, I want a blunt weapon, which is definitely this. Say how many diseases I have. I've contra two diseases contracted, but like I think it's cured me. I, I can't remember how the curing system works. Gonna go back here just for a moment. So I'm not just like jumping and healing all over the place. I'm actually going to fast travel a little bit. I came here just to drop this here. Because I will use it later after I've used up all the ability of this uh, Warhammer. This magical elven Warhammer flames. And I'll go here. Because I'm going to check out what else is in that cave. I didn't want that, I wanted that. I've destroyed your followers. Treasure down here. I do like myself some treasure. You just stuck stuck in this dank, dirty place. Maybe they were. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I'm just going to also attempt that stuff pretty much from now on. There we go. Got some nice things to sell. That's the thing about caves in this game. They do hold loot in them. So there is that. Caves and dungeons, that is.
I'm gonna wait till usual time. Seven. Go to the shrine of Azura, tell her I've killed her followers. As unfortunate as it was, they were now vampires and they had to go. Then I guess it's off to find another shrine. There she is, my lady. One of the Daedric princes. Zora Star. Right, okay. It's worth a lot. I have. It's like the ultimate soul gem, I think. Zora Star. I have no idea what it does whatsoever, but I'm just going to pause it for now and just check out uh, the wiki for the next location. So, apparently, the next uh, shrine here is uh, another level 2 shrine so we're gonna go there I'm not gonna fast travel I'm actually gonna walk all the way down to the Imperial City first because I can and uh, thank you Azora for uh, your star that you just gave me so I know it's that way but I'm gonna go southwest across the mountains Hacking and smashing my way to victory. Yes. Yes, southwest to the Imperial City, I think, should do for me. To put away that weapon and uh, sell some stuff and uh, pick up. An offering that I need to give. So I think the offering is a lesser soul gem, lettuce or yarn, and I'm gonna do the uh, yarn because I think I have it on me. Where is the Imperial City? The Imperial City's right there, so I have to go towards that. <coughs> then we're going that way. I like how shading holes. I like how you can see things on the map actually from like the huge draw distance that it's got going on. Not coming across many wolves on this mountain side. Because they spawn near the main road side, Boyger. I think it's just the brown bears that I need to watch out for. Like, black bears are bad, as as they are right now for me, because, like, I find them a bit of a challenge, but, like, brown bears are going to be the, gonna be the absolute worst. <laughs> That's quite a jump. <coughs> right. That was pretty good. I killed a den of, was it five? I think it was five vampires. Trust me, not an easy feat at this level. Right, let's just smash this one. There we go. Smash into pulp. 
Another Daedric Shrine. I again. Don't care too much about Daedric Shrines. But I think I just saw a fireball fly somewhere there. No, it wouldn't have been a fireball, it would have been something completely different. Okay, off we go to the Imperial City. Wherever the Imperial City might be. Look at this quaint little village. Arms folly. How quaint. There is a reason why, like, they got rid of, like, the abilities of athletics and, um, acrobatics. They don't really add anything to it, but I can't help myself. I have to level them up. It's a boar. You wild beast! Then boar. Oh. Give me a disease. Speed is being drained. Great. You. Bugger. Let's go to this castle. All these places that I don't explore. They're just on my map. This is a good idea. Probably not. Let's see what happens. No. Oh. Well, there was those. I think it's skeletons. I hear the. Uh... Yes, skeletons. All right. <coughs> Come on, skellywags. Alright, then I'll come at you. Hey, nice hurt. Ooh. Alright, this guy is a... Uh... Bit tougher than I was expecting, if I'm honest. A little bit tougher. Is that a common? No. Uh. Sure, I've done that. I did. That's the way in. Um. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Still going southwest, I think we are. This is in front of another Oblivion Gate. I've opened up all across the land.
Don't need the scales. I need the lion pelt though, so uh, this mountain lion's going down because I need it for another. Haha, <laughs> look at that walk. Right, I remember these being terrifying. So, uh. Oh, a guy's coming to help me out. Whoa! Got me in my lion pelt. Hey, how you doing? Morning, sir. Yes? Can you smile, though? Right, okay. Really now, Rim. You're wasting your Rim. Nope. Oh, really now. You... Well done. Rim. No, oh, please. All right, I get it. Rumors? The Kavach Oblivion Gate has been closed. Don't you understand what that means? We can beat the bastards. Yes, because I did it. Right, okay, so. You run into trouble. Come find me. If I run into trouble, come find that guy. I'll find that guy, yeah, sure thing. Uh, yes, so that's been a nice bit of oblivion. If you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll be back next time with more oblivion. Alright, till the next one. Bye.